Hi everyone, so recently I had made a video about how to become a full stack Java developer and get your dream job in V24 and after watching that video a lot of people had this question in their mind ki whether they should go forward for Java full stack development or Mern stack development. So we have two things, you have Java full stack and then you have Mern stack and people wonder, people get confused ki which is the path they should go on to which will bring them more success. So we're going to discuss this in details in this video. You're going to see what is the difference between Java full stack and Mern stack. We're going to see which is having the scope. We're going to see which is the future proof. We're going to see the learning curve. And I'm going to give you my own personal opinion of what I would do if I was a fresher right now in 2024. So let's get started. So before we even start, what is Java full stack? What is Mern stack? And what is the difference between the two? So both are like two sides of the same coin. Both of them are full stack development where you have front end, you have back end, you have databases, you have middleware, you have these things. Basically a complete development, they are both different forms of that, different ways of achieving the same things. So in Mernstack, you have MongoDB, you have Express.js, you have React, you have Node.js. Basically you have JavaScript based technology. For Java full stack in front end, you can go into React, you can go into JSP, you can go into Swing. There's a lot of technologies, but in back end, we use something like Spring Boot. And then we have Oracle SQL databases. These things are there in Java full stack. So they are, like I mentioned, both sides, both different sides of the same coin. Now, so the next thing comes in people's mind is which is more industry relevant. So which will bring you more opportunities in the job market? And that is a legitimate concern. You need to learn the technology which is relevant to the market for which the hiring are more and more. You should not be learning outdated technology. So let's compare both Mern stack and Java full stack. So we'll be seeing both outside India and inside India. So if we take a look at outside India, there for full stack, we have more preference towards Mern stack, towards JavaScript based technologies, especially for backend. If you look at outside India, then there's more preference for JavaScript related things. While if you look in India, then majority of the companies, if you look at Wells Fargo, Mintra, uh, Walmart, Amazon, VMware, majority of the companies, if you see in India, inside our country are using Spring Boot or are migrating towards Spring Boot for like full stack development specifically for backend development. So you'll see that learning Java full stack or Spring Boot will give you more edge in the job market, which is inside our country in India. Outside, it's a little bit different. Like I said, you have more preference given to JavaScript based technologies to outside countries. And even if you go to LinkedIn, you can just search on the job posting. You can search Spring Boot developer. You can search Mern stack developer and you'll see that the Spring Boot developers will have more openings, especially inside India. You'll see more openings related to Java Spring Boot developers compared to JavaScript based backend technologies. Now comes the next part, which is more future proof. So let me be honest with you. Both are pretty future proof, whether you go to ex like JavaScript based technologies, whether you go to Java based technologies, both are pretty future proof. Like, obviously, we don't know what will happen into the future, but based on the current data that we have, both of these technologies will be in use for the next decade or so we can safely speak because these have been in use for quite some time now and it's industry standard for like majority of the big tech companies. So both of these, I would say, are equally future proof. There's nothing going to happen to either of them in the near immediate future. Hi everyone, before we start the rest of the video, let me tell you about an amazing learning platform where you can learn both these skills, Mern stack and Java full stack. And I'm talking about Cryo, which is an amazing platform where you can learn all the skills necessary in order to become a full stack web developer and crack your dream company as a full stack web developer. So right now Cryo has two programs. One is fellowship program in software development for aspiring software developers and one fellowship program in QR automation for people who want to go into testing field. So if we take a look at the software development cohort or program, it's a pretty cool, well-structured program where they teach you every little skill that you need, both in front end and back end, so that you can crack the top product based companies. They also teach you interview necessary skills like data such as an algorithm, system design. And the best part about Cryo is that they focus on learning by building. So this is not a course where you'll have just boring theoretical subjects, but here you'll be building real life cool projects that will help you build up your portfolio and they also have an amazing placement statistics with a placement guarantee you can check the placement statistics out they have around 700 plus hiring partners so it's a pretty good program or course if you want to crack your dream company as a full stack web developer either using Mernstack or java you have both the options here so yeah if you're interested i'll give a link in the description you can check it out and book your free trial now to see how it is so that's all now back to the video then comes the learning curve and this is where the differences you know start to show more and more 
because if you take a look at mern stack if you take a look at react js javascript based technologies then i would say it is a little bit easier to learn compared to java based technologies so in mern stack even if you know a little bit even if you have a overview of knowledge you can start building things you can start playing around with it creating stuff but for java full stack for spring boot you need to have an in depth knowledge before you start you know making something building something or creating projects so i would say that javascript related technologies or javascript in general is a little bit easier while going in compared to going into java full stack mern stack has a easier learning curve obviously this is just for the initial phase for building industry grade projects both are equally difficult but the learning phase of mern stack is easier as i would say and one more thing i'd like to discuss because i just saw this comment on my video which says that uh, cracking java based jobs are a little bit more difficult as a fresher because they are looking for experienced candidates most of the time and for mern stack you know even they are looking for freshers so while that might be the case for some companies but it's not like that even if you're a fresher you can still crack good companies with as a like spring boot developer or a java backend developer you just need to have a correct amount of experience under your belt you need to have done some proper project work you need to have built some proper cool things if you have that you can 100% crack java backend roles java full stack roles even as a fresher now comes to my personal opinion like what i would do if i was looking for a job right now if i was a fresher looking navigating the job market basically right now what i would be so i have done both mern stack i've done both java backend java full stack and i had even made a video some time back about how i learned you know mern full stack development in 30 days and i have also made a video about java full stack as well so i have both experiences so what i would do if i had to start over right now or if i had to look for a job right now as a fresher basically i would suggest and i would do this myself is to go forward with java so there's a couple of reasons for that the first thing is that java can not only be used for development but you can easily use java also for cracking dsa rounds for cracking interview java is an amazing language to do dsa in so not only you can do dsa in it you can crack companies interview with it but you can also build with it and the other reason is that a lot of computer science fundamentals can be very easily explained and understood with the help of java if you take a look at oop if you take a look at computer networks if you take a look at operating systems a lot of these features a lot of these computer science fundamentals can be explained in java even if you look at your college curriculum most probably they'll be teaching you oop with the help of java even though other languages are also object oriented but java is probably the industry standard for learning oop so it's not only good for dsa but it's also good for learning things like oop which is a huge part of computer science fundamentals and apart from that obviously if you learn spring boot then like i mentioned you have a lot and lot of opportunities there's countless companies which are hiring for spring boot developers right now you can check it out yourself on linkedin opening or any other websites opening so that's pretty much it i hope i covered everything in case if you still have a doubt please leave it in the comment i'll be sure to give you a proper explanation for the same if you want me to make any other video on any other topic or any other doubt you have then again feel free to leave it in the comment or dm me on linkedin so that's pretty much it let's see you in the next video thank you